In this video, I'm going to show you the best passing play in Madden 21 right now. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about how you can become the best Madden player that you can possibly become. And if you want to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now in this video, like I said, I'm going to be talking about the best passing concept in the game right now. You can do this concept from multiple different formations, but I personally think that it is the best from the trips tied in out of the New England Patriots offensive playbook. If you have not got my New England Patriots uh, trips tied in offensive guide, you can get that in the description. I'm going to leave a link down below for you. Um, but we're going to dive right in here. And before we get too far into the video, I did want to talk briefly about my uh, true fan membership. If you don't know what that is, it's something I just started. It's for the people on my channel that are most committed to getting themselves to become the best Madden player that you could possibly become. So if you want to get better at the game and you want to learn the highest level of different tactics and strategies that the top of the line players are using in Madden 21, then you can get the true fan membership for just $5 a month. You'll get three videos every single week. One of them breaks down a pro player's uh, competitive film study. You also get a video that will break down um, an offensive meta update, talking about what the best of the best are doing right now in the game and how to counter that and then defensively you'll also get a defensive meta update talking about what's the latest adjustment or the latest nuance that people are doing at a very high level on the game so it, we actually already have one video in that membership it's a pro player breakdown on Drini. it's a one hour video on his um, on his offensive scheme so if you want to get access to that again that's three videos a week 12 videos every single month super high level and if you want to get access to that all you have to do is sign up for the true fan membership down in the description i left a link down there and you can get that for just five bucks all right so pa counter go is the play we're going to be talking about and basically what the, the concept is is it's a crossing route obviously with a delay fade and then the other the last step is actually this little concept from trip side in that i really like it's a way that you can um essentially we're going to block the running back we're going to put the tight end on a delay fade, and then we're going to put the triangle receiver on a flat and the square receiver on a um, little five-yard dig route. This route concept right here is super, super good. What you're going to do is you're going to read the left side really quickly. If they don't have a yellow zone on the left side, or basically they have to have a yellow zone and a hard flat, if they don't have either one of those, then you can basically make a quick read here on the left side. So you'll see right here, I'm going to do kind of a traditional Mabel coverage. And as you see, this little dig route becomes open. Now, real quick, I want to cover two specific types of zones. Uh, the seam flat zones, they have it in their name. They're a seam flat. So what that means is they're going to play the middle to the outside. And so what that's going to look like as far as how this play is going to work out for us is you're going to see that we can hit that quick out route right now. And as you can see right there, as long as we don't do anything, we're gonna get a nice little rack catch up the field. So we have a nice little quick read. If they're not playing hard flats, then we can get out there. If they are playing hard flats, then what we wanna do is we just wanna continue with this eye trajectory. It's a very smooth progression. We're just gonna bounce up, so that's covered. Okay, we bounce up to the dig and we take the dig just like that. Very easy and very simple. Now the next read on this play is going to be our rollout crosser. So at this point in the play, um, if they do something like this right here, this combo on the left side, that's going to allow them to take that concept away. And so it's very likely that they're going to be usering over the crosser crossing route. Now most people by this point know that this delay fade is a possibility. And so we go one to two, then we start rolling out. And as we roll out, what you're going to see is this crossing route on the rollout is going to get over the top of 25 yard uh, flat zones. So let me show you that one more time. Again, I'm just going to set up kind of that basic uh, coverage that you're probably going to see just a simple Mabel coverage. And what you're going to see is again, as we set this up, we've got the delay fade on the right. 
We've got the. We're, I like to block the running back just so that I can have a nice snap throw read over here on this left side. If that's not there, then I'm rolling out and I'm pass leading that up once he gets to the sideline. And you're going to see that you're going to consistently be able to at least have a shot at completing this. In mutt, it works a little bit better than in regs. Or, I mean, it works really well in regs too. But in mutt, you have a little bit faster of a quarterback, a little bit better rollout potential, um, and then you have some better uh, route running. But you'll see right here, you're just going to get out of the pocket and then just essentially that's what you're looking for. Just right there. Very simple, um, as you can see. So that's if they put a outside third over there. Uh, I want to quickly cover what happens if they put like a deep half. Um, this is something that people will do to try to stop cover three bombs. They'll just deep half on both sides. So if they do something like that, again, you're just going to go through your traditional uh, trajectory on your read. And as you can see, that sideline catch is, is still available to you on that right side. Now, what I really want to talk about, though, is what we've done to take a care of this on the, on the other side. So what they're going to start doing is they're going to user that circle receiver. And so what that's going to mean for us is we're going to have this rollout delay fade so i'm rolling out rolling out rolling out the zone follows me and then i just have the delay fade that i can throw uh back across my body now another thing that i want to hit on just real quick as far as a, a timing situation within this play is you really don't want to use your delay fade until really late in the play this is a very good play because the trip's tied in it's it's better than bunch tied in in my opinion because it it's a longer developing play it covers more grass um, because of the spacing so you see here as I'm rolling out I have a window that I can hit that square receiver right there and that's actually a really really good route not very many people realize how powerful of a route that is what you can do if you want because here's the thing is what they're gonna it's it's very likely that they're gonna do something along this line right here so you see I've got the three rec on the right to take away the delay fade so it's a if this then that formula. So you'll see here on the right or on the on the back side, if the yellow zone is going from right to left, then you should have an easy window to hit that square receiver just like that. Okay. The the second thing that you can do, and I, I've got two, I've got another little combination for this that you can use as well. Um, but now let's say they have the yellow zone on the left side. Okay, so the yellow zone is going to come out, and he's going to take away the initial read that we're trying to hit to this to this um, to this dig route. So that's taken away. So then you roll out, and what you'll see is you can take that flat zone with you. And of course, it took my tight end a year and a half to go out. But once you release the tight end, then you're going to have you're going to have that opportunity in the middle. Now, the only problem is occasionally, as you've been probably noticing on this play, the in route will run into the same space that the delay fade is on. So if it's man coverage, you might not want to you definitely want to use it like this. But if it's zone, you see that they kind of run into each other. As you can see right here, they kind of run into each other. So there's a way around it that will still do what we want um, it to do. It's just a little bit of a different setup that you can also mix in. So if they're running more zone, I'd recommend this setup right here. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're actually just gonna leverage the power of the curl route. So we're gonna take this, um, we're, gonna take, we're gonna keep that delay fade. We're gonna keep everything on the right side is, is the same. Uh, but now what we're going to do is we're going to take that that uh, triangle receiver and we're going to put him on a curl and then we're going to take the square receiver and we're just going to put him on a smoke screen. We still have this same route combo over here. So if they're not playing, if even if they are playing hard flats, a lot of times that square receiver will get open. Another thing that I like to do, especially if they're someone that likes to run a lot of like Mike Blitz 3, is I really like to, to put this square receiver on an out route. So it looks something like this. Um, the problem, the only problem is it's a play action play. And so you get a weird animation at the snap of the ball. But what you'll see is if they're not playing hard flats, you can throw this little quick out relatively easily. So you can go in between the hitch, um, or you can go in between those two combinations. But what this does really well, especially if they're using the zone drops that I was telling you about where they have, you know, they have like a five yard hook curl and they have like a, a, a five yard flat zone which is the popular uh, strategy what you're going to see happen on this play is if we sit here this curl you can basically um, you can basically high point that curl the other thing is again 
if they're if they're doing that, like notice that seam flats guard the curl a little bit better. So what you don't ever want to forget about is don't forget about your smoke screen. Um, your smoke screen can do a really good job. So you'll see right here, this time the curl went more out there, so I can just high point. And of course, I'm throwing picks. Um, I can just like bullet pass. If I don't low pass, it'll probably work out a little bit better for me. But that's something else that you can do. And then one last thing that I would recommend as far as a route combo that you can use on this left side that does a really good job is use a smart routed uh, in route. So just make the in route go a little bit deeper. And what you'll see here is that really deep area of the field just like that makes it look very similar to a dagger concept but these kind of routes are the best routes in the game right now this is the best way to, to utilize this we didn't even talk about this as far as, a, as man, man coverage um, let me just take a brief second and show you uh, against man coverage you're going to have some pretty solid routes this square route normally will just be able to have a nice little secure like an inside position and you can throw a secure catch just like i did right there the next thing is obviously your crosser that's why you want to have your best route runner running your crossing route so you'll see right here um Devontae Adams gets separation rogers kind of sold on that but let me show you that one more time so again and this is such a simple comment i mean it's such a simple route but it's so good um, and it doesn't take very long to set up but if you watch this uh, circle receiver, you're gonna see on the on the cut right there. If you're in mutt, I would recommend putting like short in elite on that receiver, and uh, that will help you tremendously. And then the last thing that I want to show you, as far as a man being route, we talked about this before, and this is why this play is so powerful because it works. It just the reads are so smooth. But if I go roll out and then they blitz, you see then I can throw either the dig or I can throw the, the delay fade. So I don't want to release that delay fade until, you know, I'm in a good spot. So let me show you that one more time. And again, just delay fade, flat route, block, and then you're going to roll out. So I'm just rolling out right here, rolling out, rolling out. And of course, Rogers is killing me right now. Um, for whatever reason, for whatever reason, Rogers is kind of being an idiot. But again, you can just that and you want to make sure you get a nice double team right here. And then you just want to roll out and he blitzes. And as you can see, the tight ends open. Rogers for can't make the throw to save his life today. But in mutt, you're going to be fine. You put inside dead eye on the quarterback and you're going to be just fine. You're not going to have to worry about that. Um, and again, you're just double teaming the outside. You read the left side quick, not there, start rolling out. And then you have either your in route or your crosser or your tight end delay fade. So very simple little route concept here, but very, very effective. If they try to do something like this right here, this is a popular defense um, against trips tight end. So if they try to do something like that, um, that's where again, we're just going to come back and continue to just work the simple routes that we have on the field this little um, If you pass lane inside this flat you're gonna get an easy almost 10 yards every single time if they don't have a hard flat out there So anyways, thanks for watching this video if you want to get a more in-depth look at my trips tied in offensive uh, scheme you can get my trips tied in offensive guide in the description for just 10 bucks and also if you want to become a true fan of the channel and become a patreon supporter i think it's a great deal for you you get three high high level videos every single week so if you really are like me and you completely geek out on madden um, i would encourage you to join that for just five bucks a month you're going to get some of the most high level madden training in the uh in the country so thanks for your time i hope you enjoyed the video and make sure to join that true fan membership down in the description